What would you say if I told you there was a way to get unlimited amount of wear pals that you probably wouldn't be able to find or hunt without shooting or throwing a sphere? Yes, guys, you heard it correctly. This is actually a thing. And I suggest you do this now before it gets patched or I don't even know if this is intentional or not, but you definitely want to start doing this right now. So let's talk about the first things you're going to need in order to get this done and set up. Uh, of course, we are going to have to capture someone. And in order to do so, we're going to have to uh, throw a sphere and shoot someone. But after that, you won't be able to need a shooter or anything like that. So the first thing we want to do, guys, is we want to make sure we have an assembly line, whether it be one or two. And we want to make sure we go ahead and create ourselves some ultra spheres. This is going to be extremely important because this is going to make our life easier. I personally would suggest to get at least 20 to 25 of these because you will go uh, run by these really, really fast. And you are going to need a lot of plendum fragments, refined ignog, carbon fiber, and cement. Now, I have a video on how to farm this automatically AFK without you needing to stress out. So watch that video so you guys can get enough stuff to be able to get yourself some ultra spheres. Now, once you have your ultra spheres, you're probably going to need, like I said, about 20 of them. And I have 40 I put already, but I already did this. But um, if you want to get an additional one, which you really don't need to, uh, but uh, this is going to set you up. All right, so what you want to do, guys, is you want to fast travel to this location right here called the Desolated Church. The reason I like this area is because this area has a very easy spawn point and we don't really have to deal with any other ads. It's just a matter about taking one ad at a time. So let's go ahead and get over there and I'll tell you guys exactly what we need to do. All right, so once we made it here, guys, you're gonna wanna make sure you get your mount or your pal or you can just use the grapple hook. It's very close by, so you don't really have to go too far. And we're gonna make our way here over the little ridge. I'm just gonna go ahead and feed my my pal because he is a little bit hungry and i want to make sure we're going to use it in combat so he, he has to be in uh you know optimal food wise uh so let's go ahead and go over this area so we just got to go over these uh tree red trees vines that are right here once we're over this tree vines there's going to be like a little cliff that goes down and this is the location where we're actually going to okay uh we're going to be heading here uh towards the bottom and once you go here towards the bottom you're going to notice that there is a entry point uh, that has like a little cave that you're able to go called the abandoned mine shaft. Now inside this abandoned mine shaft, as if you guys have seen previous videos, you guys know that there is a secret vendor here that's going to ha have rare items. But this is not the trick on how to actually get it. Even though theoretically you're able to reset this guy every every day, I think, every 24 hours. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me that. But I'm going to show you guys a neat way. So what we want to do guys is we want to shoot him. And we want to make sure that we capture him. That's going to see, that's going to be the secret to the sauce here. We want to make sure that we capture him. Now, it's going to take you maybe a couple tries because he does spawn an additional character to fight. But if you have a a, um, a weapon, like a you know, shotgun, a pistol, uh, if you don't know how to get a pistol, you're definitely going to want to check out my video on how to get a gun early. And you should just pretty much come back here where you see this little uh, Ferris wheel or this... Uh, I would say wooden crate. You just want to stand behind the wheel and he won't shoot you and just let your, your pal do all the aggering. And for some reason, your pal's you know, struggling, just go ahead and back off and, uh, you know, just let him do his thing uh, or just summon him and put someone else. Now, as you guys hear, I captured him with one mega sphere. Okay. That was just because of the video editing. And I wanted to make this a little bit quicker than usual, uh, but it did take me at least, at least I threw like around between seven or eight, to actually capture it would, it would get stuck on four then it would go to 22 and then i would shoot him and peek once and shoot him and peek once and throw another one until i got him as low as i possibly could and i was able to get that one going so if you guys do this let me know how many megaspheres it took you guys to actually capture him once you capture him guys you're going to head over to your base and once you guys are over to your base you're going to want to make sure you spawn him okay um you want to make sure he appears in your base so when he appears in your base uh, you guys are good to go. And not, it's not, no, I spawned the wrong dude here. All right, so yeah, that dude's pretty dope too, man. Uh, but you want to make sure he uh, he appears in your base. So we're going to actually get the right one this time around. 
And here we go. And now he'll appear in your base in the bender ship. Now, this is where the trick happens. And this is where it becomes no bullets, no spheres needed, only coins, guys. So you're going to talk to him. And you're going to go ahead and click where it says buy, uh, buy contraband. And you're going to notice that there's characters here. And they're going to require gold. Now, luckily for me, I have a ton of gold, of course, because I've been saving and saving. And there's a way to actually farm this unlimitedly, which is what I've been doing. And what you want to do is you're going to go talk to him. And if you see a pal... A rare pal that you actually like you're gonna be able to buy it off him like I said guys he does sell uh, bosses and he does sell alpha pals every once in a while so you want to make sure you look for that yellow the yellow one right like for example that yellow thing you want to make sure that the one you're buying is yellow or it has some really good trades uh, for whatever you wanted it to be a worker or to be a fighter so you're gonna pick him as you see guys I bought three for here for video purposes actually I bought four and now what you want to do, and this is where the unlimited amount of times comes into play, you're going to go back to your pal box, and what you want to do is you want to grab them, and you want to put them in your, in your, on your pal box, and then drop them back in. Now, when you drop them back in, this pretty much resets them. So you're just going to be able to buy unlimited amount of pals indefinitely, and this should help out a lot of you guys that are, might be missing a pal, and you probably, you know, are really far back into the game and can't get to that location or can't go to a certain spot because uh, you, you're underpowered. This is actually going to help you quite a lot because you'll be able to get pals that you probably didn't have anywhere else. So once again, we're going to be doing the same thing, guys. We're going to unequip and re-equip. And then we're going to talk to him real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and go buy. And as you guys see there, every single time it resets his inventory. And this is a really good way to actually do a couple things. Not only farm for rare pals but also get pals that you want to uh kind of infuse with or mate with to be able to get better pals right so like if you're looking for you only have a bunch of males but you don't have a female there's a good way to get a female if you're looking for a specific uh perk that you don't have uh you know and you want to make sure you get it for a specific character there's a very very effective way to actually go about and doing this to be able to get unlimited and rare pals and there you guys have it that is how you do it now if you guys are missing materials to get your spheres or anything like that definitely check out the video we posted on how to get unlimited amount of materials within the best spot that has every single item that you need in order to get endgame content. So I hope you guys are enjoying your content here on the channel. If you are doing the heat favorite guys, drop a comment, drop a like, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.